Welcome back. So, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China, and this is Ivy Nekesa from Kitale Museum. Ivy Nekesa from Kitale. Is it just Kitale Museum or Kitale National, Kitale National Museum? Museum. Yeah. And we are having an amazing time to document what is happening here. And right now, we are going to the gallery, the main gallery. But not the administration block and the library. Yes. Are we we're interested? Going to the main library. The main gallery. The main gallery. Yes. Maybe we can start by. We can start from the dinosaur. From the dinosaur. Yeah. Where? Over there. Over there. Yes. So we. Let me. Hi, madam. Hi. Hello. So we start from the dinosaur. Starting from the These are lectures and temporary exhibition and research. research. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You take the books from the library, the library. Then you do the research. Where's the library? We have the library over there after oh. the administration block. Oh, okay. okay. The oh, so you can come do your research there. Yeah. So we are going to the main gallery, but first, yeah. first there's this amazing dinosaur here. Trinosaurus Rex. Yes. Okay. So, guys, learn a lot, learn a lot. This is a very educative segment. So, I Here's will... Here's a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, it happened that the asteroid landed in Earth. Mm -hmm. And when it, it landed, mm -hmm. it made everything to be ash. Mm -hmm. So, the first... Mm -hmm. We had two categories of dinosaur. Mm -hmm. We had herbivores mm -hmm. and herbivores and carnivores. Mm -hmm. So when the asteroid landed in Earth, it made everything to be ash. Mm -hmm. And the one who are herbivores, mm -hmm. they could not survive mm -hmm. because the plants became ash and dried, oh. and also water dried. Mm -hmm. So the carnivores were the one who survived mm -hmm. because they started eating the carcasses of herbivores. Oh, okay, okay. So the the dinosaur that survived is Trinoceros rex. Oh. The one who used to walk with two legs and its hands were short. Okay. Yes. Short hands and two legs. Yes. Okay. Now this this, this Trinoceros rex was the one who survived. Okay. And later, <laughs> it it survived for some time and later it died. <laughs> so the land the land later became back to its it's normal it's normal what uh, shape or what yeah, yeah. the plants became water became mm -hmm. and now the replica of this this the you know, like crocodile okay. geckos mm -hmm. lizards mm -hmm. yeah we have also other birds from the Inosa's family okay yes yeah. maybe take us a photo here uh, stand over there yeah. And we'll take a photo It's okay? Enough. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm moving forward. Yeah, it was, uh, now we are heading to tractor. Uh, the tractor. The modern tractor and the should I call it the oxygen or the traditional track? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. We start from this one or we start that one? From, okay. This one is. We start from here. Yeah, yeah. Because it's the first. And from this, they were able to make that. So, we start from this. Now, this one is it's called a wagon. A wagon. This wagon, mm -hmm. that ox block could make the lines. Mm -hmm. Also this wagon could also make the lines mm -hmm. but Oxplow could make lines and mm -hmm. this wagon could replace seats then it cover yeah, yeah it yeah. cover. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was the work of wagon. Yeah. And yeah. it and has not been preserved well. Yeah when we were young it used to be a big 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 yeah. but now it's uh, worn out. It's the wood made of the wood worn out like in the movies like Game of Thrones. And the this is the front tire and the back tire. back tire. Yeah. And their tire used to be like this. 
metal like this this one so now let's see what we got but if you want to see it it's the Lamea farm in Naivash After the agrarian revolution, this one was the one that was the modern one. Yes. Yeah. This one is called Ferguson TE20 truck. Ferguson, yeah, yeah. Masai Ferguson. Yeah. TE20 yeah. truck. It was brought by white settlers here in Transoya. Mm -hmm. Because Transoya, mm -hmm. we had fertile land and we still have fertile land mm -hmm. and we had, we had large farms. Mm -hmm. So these two, mm -hmm. first this. This tractor, mm -hmm. at each, 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 paraffin. Yeah, paraffin. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because paraffin was dominant that time. Oh, okay. And these two, mm -hmm. they are oxplos. Oxplos. So, yeah. by oxplos, it means they were, they used to be pulled by, uh, Slaves. By slaves? Yeah. Not the bull? Yes, it was for slaves. Okay. Yes. I didn't know that. No, I thought. Two are for slaves, okay. Not for bulls. So the, the white man was whipping the black person to put the... Yes. Here in Transoya? Yes, here in Transoya. But you know this tractor mm -hmm. was like a means of transport for the white settlers. Mm -hmm. But now uh, the white settler could drive the tractor mm -hmm. while the slaves are pulling mm -hmm. the ox plows. So it's like watching them do it? Yes. Okay. So very dark history there. One day we'll talk about the slaves in Transoya County. Yes. One day. So these are very old, old tire. Yes. And uh, this one, very traditional. Look at this tire. And this one is still functional. You just need to yes. grease it, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Now we enter the National Museums of Western Kenya. So let's go in and see what's happening on the other end of the gallery. So this is the main gallery we want to enter inside. See what's happening inside here. So no smoking. No smoking and here mm -hmm. avoid touching surface. Avoid touching surface. Yeah. All right. So here we are. Hey. Happy New Year. Kosalam. Kosalam. Kosia Pia Pampak. I'm out. Kosa. I'm okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she she'll take you around. Yeah, sir. Okay. What's your name? My name is uh, Adriano Sipa. My name is Brian Anoto. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yes. Mina Kwanga National Museum of Trade. National Museum of Mammology Section. Oh, Mammology Section. Yeah, yeah. I think you have this Mammo itself up here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I want. When, and this is my home. We used to come to this museum when we were young. Okay. So I want to learn more. What has changed and propose better it's okay. ideas. So she'll take you. Yeah. Seventy percent is stone and collection. Thirty percent material culture. Okay. Okay. She has the details. Okay. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Welcome. All right. Sure. Okay. So we have now. the authority. Not like last time we we had several issues, but now it's okay. <laughs> You know, women, they yeah. always have issues, not like men. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, last time I found a woman, she had to ask, where are you, where are you oh, coming from? she wanted from? you to pay her oh. something. Oh. <laughs> anyway, today is stripped. Okay. So, so here I'll do less talking, you'll do more talking. Okay. Because you have only 45 minutes in Okay. Okay. Now here, mm -hmm. it's the gallery. Mm -hmm. Like here we have the archives. Okay. Now... I'm telling you the history of Italian Museum, how it started. Mm -hmm. Museum started in 1926, mm -hmm. there at Sheringani Hills. Okay. And it was started by a British man mm -hmm. called Colonel Hank Stoneham. Colonel Hank Stoneham. Hank Stoneham. Yeah, okay. Colonel Hank Stoneham. Mm -hmm. And while well, he was at his tender age of five years, mm -hmm. he was interested in entomology, mm -hmm. the study of insects. Mm -hmm. And here we have his collection of butterflies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stoneham's collection. Collection. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay. This one is the one who did taxidermy yeah. himself. Yeah, he's the one who did taxidermy. Okay. Yes. 
And these other things mm -hmm. he was given like for he was given from different communities here in Kenya, mm -hmm. like gifts mm -hmm. from different communities like the Luos, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. like the eagles, mm -hmm. this cap, head headdress, mm -hmm. yeah, Luoko. Mm -hmm. These other things was given by different communities. Okay. Like this stone came from Somalia. This one. Number ten. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Colonel, he mm -hmm. participated in the First World War, mm -hmm. and he won that head of a lion over there. Okay. It came from Tanganyika. Tanganyika yeah. in Tanzania. Tanzania. Oh, okay. in Tanzania. That time Tanzania was known as Tanganyika. Yeah. Is it because of the lake? Because of lake the lake. Lake Tanganyika. Yes, I yeah. guess because of Lake Tanganyika. Oh, okay, okay. And it was brought the time when railway was made. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. And Colonel, mm -hmm. he was interested in music. Mm -hmm. He was given that piano over there. It's over 100 years. Okay. It came from England. England? Yeah. Okay. And the traditional uh, carvings. Very yes. traditional. You see, it's a real piano. Yeah. It's very but you're not allowed to touch. Please okay. do not touch. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Because it's Maybe if I can just give up uh, information as Bob will have. Yeah. This piano yeah. was taken right from Cavendish Square, London. Calvin? Cavendish Square. Cavendish oh, Square is found in London. Calvendish. Cavendish Square. Oh, yeah. that's the name. Uh, okay, Calvendish. Exactly. Okay. That's UK. That's UK. Then to Cherengany. It was taken from there to mm. Cherengany mm -hmm. in 1926 when they began the museum. Okay. Because the founder, mm -hmm. uh, he really had a passion on music. Okay. Yeah, and then this kind of piano was also restored. Mm -hmm. It got it got perished, mm -hmm. and then it was uh, restored. Mm -hmm. May 1978. Okay. By Mr. and Ms. Babiton. Babiton. Uh, Mr. and Ms. Babiton. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's now 154 years. 154. From this year 2024, this piano is now 154 years because it was invented 1870. Well, so we get from 1872. Yeah. 2024, we get 154. Yeah. So it's an old kind of piano. Okay. So care must be taken according to Colin Stone House. Yeah. Because uh, the donation from Colonel Stonehouse family okay. to museum. Okay. And I'm sure this may be only maybe few pieces remaining in the world. Exactly. So this is one of them. Yes. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. I appreciate it. It's more about the plastic record player. You want some information? Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you more about So what was the plastic record player? Mm -hmm. This is a 19th century. 19th century. 19th century Colonel Stonehouse collection. Okay. We have the codium. Mm -hmm. And have the plastic record player. That's so this is the cordial. This is a cordial. And, and this is a plastic record player. Plastic record player. That's nineteenth century Stoneham okay. collection. Okay. These are a part of seventy percent Stoneham collections that okay. are found in the gallery. Okay. This is part of it. Okay. So we realize that this plastic record player mm -hmm. is a replica of the of the memory card. Oh. So museum defines evolution mm -hmm. as a gradual change mm -hmm. or as a radical change mm -hmm. based on this. Okay. Because the plastic record player, you can see it's smaller. It's yeah. this, the plastic record player is bigger yeah. than the memory card. Yeah. So the memory card is a bit smaller, smaller yeah. but it has more storage capacity. Yeah. Yeah. So you can have more song. Yeah. This one will carry maybe about only two. Uh, how the, uh, this big, big, big? Yeah, big. So this one helps us to understand about evolution. Okay. Because we look at evolution mm -hmm. right from early stone age, mm -hmm. We have all and tools, mm -hmm. middle stone age mm -hmm. where you have the Acheulean tools, mm -hmm. and late stone age we have microlithic tools. Okay. You will see that those tools mm -hmm. continue to become smaller and sharper. Yeah, yeah. And as they become smaller and sharper, mm -hmm. you can see that the, the the brain capacity of mankind also increases. Yeah, yeah. So you can be able to see that at the moment mm -hmm. we have the plastic, uh, we have the memory card mm -hmm. which is smaller in size. Yeah. In line with the evolution knowledge, you yeah. can see that. The, plus, the, the memory card is smaller in size, uh -huh. but high storage capacity. Yeah, yeah. So you can be able to compare this plastic record player okay. with the, the memory card uh -huh. in relation to evolution as the gradual change. Oh, yeah. So we expect to see smaller things and sharper mm -hmm. as technology also increases. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, that's very <laughs> good information. Actually, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we are proud to say evolution mm -hmm. is a radical change yeah and you yeah. can be able to prove mm -hmm. our evolutionary knowledge mm -hmm. in line with the plastic record player mm -hmm. and the current memory card okay oh, that's mm -hmm. well informed <laughs> <laughs> the professor himself <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah i think she can now move you to the other place i'm going to take a 20 paper open up the question
Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You can, <laughs> you can uh, go. I can accompany. Uh, maybe. Maybe it's okay. <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay because we are here to yeah. educate. So this one. Yeah. Have you have you finished? No, this? I I haven't. Okay. Now, it's okay. From here, mm -hmm. we have the the what you call the typewriter. Mm -hmm. So remember, Kenya in mm -hmm. the year 1920, mm -hmm. it was still under the British colony. Yeah. And the museum began 1926. Mm -hmm. So you could easily access the the kind of the the, the typewriter. Mm -hmm. So this typewriter was used to for the purpose of documentation of the Stoneham Museum collection. Mm -hmm. So this one you can see that Stoneham mm -hmm. used to collect information on botany, botany. the study of the plants. Mm -hmm. At the same time, him he had a close link with Baden Powell. Oh, uh, so because of the military exchange, yeah. so he also documented some information, mm -hmm. and there's some of the information right from South Africa. Oh, okay. So he, he also studied the culture of the Luo people. Mm -hmm. So you can see that what museum does mm -hmm. at the prehistoric site, mm -hmm. they do what you call collections of information. Okay. After they have collected the information, they mm -hmm. identify the information they have collected, mm -hmm. and then they do documentation of the material. Mm -hmm. So after doing documentation, like now this showcase is mm -hmm. about documentation of the Stoneham mm -hmm. Museum or the area of botany mm -hmm. and also culture of the Lua people. Mm -hmm. After document documentation, they mm -hmm. go to what you call preservation. Mm -hmm. They do documentation of the material, mm -hmm. documentation, preservation, conservation, mm -hmm. and then they do what you call display. Oh. So when they display, mm -hmm. it's for the purpose of posterity. Okay. So you see that in museums, we do that kind of, we do uh, documentation, mm -hmm. preservation, conservation, mm -hmm. and then we do what you call display okay for the purpose of for the for posterity yeah and posterity is for the future generation for the future generation to appreciate the origin of mankind the origin of mankind okay okay and then now here mm -hmm. we are talking about the this is not part of the stone arms collection okay this is 30 percent material culture of the people of western kenya which you will see from the faces of western kenya okay so we have the mbako or the gender of 1910 there the mbako this is who? 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 Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> On back so oh. This one is just trying to represent mm -hmm. what we call the work of the blacksmith. Mm -hmm. We have the replica of the same showcase, the other side. Mm -hmm. We have the blacksmith bellow mm -hmm. of 20th century. Okay. A tool that was used among the Bukusu people. Mm -hmm. They call it Kumukubu. It Kumukubu. was used for making some of these tools. Okay. So blacksmith has got some other techniques. Okay. So we had the blacksmith 15th century. Mm -hmm. You'll find some of those artifacts that have been displayed the other side okay yeah so i think as we move we mm -hmm. still come across the same yeah so many ideas for these gems were the original ideas were actually african african yeah, yeah. yeah. and then they went and uh, modernized them exactly okay, okay. Now, and what move. about the bicycle the bicycle yeah uh -huh. oh there's a the, bicycle uh, what you can learn about this bicycle yeah it had its own uh, storyline Store? Or There's a store line over this bicycle. Okay. We have got it documented here. Yeah. But the one one of the curator of this museum, mm -hmm. I think is now retired. Mm -hmm. This kind of curator, they used this bicycle to go to they were sourcing funds mm -hmm. for making for coming up with the snake pit. Okay. So uh, whoever used this bicycle, mm -hmm. they tried this bicycle right from Kitali, mm -hmm. covering over three ninety to four hundred kilometers to Nairobi and then back. For real? And the purpose was to source funds to facilitate constructions of the snake pit. This bike uh, was driven from Kitale, from Kitale to, to Nairobi. Yeah. Somebody who what? rode it, he was here. And he was a curator of this particular museum. What? So it has the stone line. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is very, very rich. You already captured this. Yeah. 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 What? I didn't know that. Maybe one day I'll do such a challenge. I'll drive from <laughs> Kitale to Nairobi. Exactly. I will. You, they are me. <laughs> okay, here we are talking about the early, early man. Yeah. So what's very important about the early man, we look at the prehistory. Mm -hmm. So prehistory mm -hmm. is the history before prehistory. writing mm -hmm. or before documentation. Yeah. That's why we talk about prehistoric sites. So mm -hmm. Cherengany mm -hmm. was a prehistoric site. Mm -hmm. It was now carried here. Yeah. By the year 1926, we could be going to Cherengany as in the museum. Mm -hmm. But when the founder wrote the will, mm -hmm. he transferred the museum from Cherenganya to this particular place. Uh -huh. So you can be able to understand some prehistoric sites. Okay. Apart from Cherenganya, uh -huh. we have Kobifora. Uh -huh. We have, uh, like now we go to, Kobifora is from the eastern part of Turkana. Okay. Narektome in the western part of Turkana. Uh -huh. Kanapoi is southern part of Turkana. Uh -huh. We see these are Kenyan prehistoric sites. Yeah. We have Hyrax, Hills, uh -huh. and among others. Yeah. So what happens in these prehistoric sites, uh -huh. we can be able to find some of the material like the fossils. Uh -huh. So these fossils, these are the materials that could easily be found and 
they could be found in a, at a low temperature and low pressure. Mm -hmm. So we have the low temperature, low pressure, we can oh. be able to find the fossils. Okay. And these fossils are essential for us to study the uh, behind the uh, idea on the early man, mm -hmm. right from four to one million years ago. Mm -hmm. Like now what you can see here mm -hmm. is what you call stratigraphy, method okay. of dating. Okay. And then we have these people whom we call them geologists. Mm -hmm. So geologists, they do actual drilling. Okay. And we have the fossils. Mm -hmm. The people who study the fossils, the archaeologists, they study the past and the present, mm -hmm. and they use the past and the present to interpret the future. Mm -hmm. That's what we call the, those are archaeologists. So archaeologists work in conjunction with the geologists, okay. but the geologists do actual drilling. Okay. So whatever you can see here mm -hmm. is trying to show what you call the, 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 we call it what? What? This this is stratigraphy. Okay. Yeah. Of, uh, oh, stratigraphy. So it's actually a reflect. It's reflecting like the river bank. Okay. So the lower part of it to have more fossils than okay. the upper part. Than the upper part. Why? Because the lower part mm -hmm. there was there was first uh, initial deposition at the lower part mm -hmm. than the upper part. Oh, so you can be able to find that as yeah. these geologists continue to drill mm -hmm. down down at the base, mm -hmm. you have more fossils oh, okay. at the top. Oh, That's okay. why it was also shown. Oh. These strat stratas or the layers. Mm -hmm defines the stratigraphy. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> and then here we have the evolution of man. Mm -hmm. The evolution of man, mm -hmm. uh, we look at the Charles Darwin. Mm -hmm. Charles Darwin information on evolution of man mm -hmm. uh, was got right from mutation mm -hmm. and adaptation. Mm -hmm. So mutation, adaptation mm -hmm. gave rise to evolution. Mm -hmm. So evolution of man, mm -hmm. we look at Charles Darwin in 1859. Mm -hmm. So we can be able to learn the stages of Mankind, mm -hmm. or we called about this home, yeah, we are referred to as hominids mm -hmm. stage. Mm -hmm. We just start from Egypt. Okay. We have Egyptopithecus mm -hmm. from Egypt. Mm -hmm. Then from Egypt, Egyptopithecus, mm -hmm. we have Dryopithecus. Mm -hmm. Egyptopithecus, Dryopithecus, mm -hmm. Kenyapithecus. Okay. Then from the Kenyapithecus, now we have what we call Australopithecus okay. or Australopithecines, four okay. to one million years ago. Mm -hmm. So in the, under this Australopithecus, we have Australopithecus boise, mm -hmm. we have Australopithecus robustus africanus, mm -hmm. and we have so many other species. Mm -hmm. And then from this level, mm -hmm. we go to Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens sapiens. Okay. So these are the stages of hominids. Okay, okay. So you can see that from here, mm -hmm. you'll see under Australopithecus, you can see, you, if you look at the eyeballs, yeah. the eyes, yeah. the eyes are a bit are sunken and yeah. the skin is rough. Yeah. But you look at our level of our Homo sapiens sapiens. Yeah. Yeah. The eyeballs are not are not sunken; yeah. they are protruding, yeah. and the smooth surface is okay. The skin surface is smooth yeah. because the man is operating within the savanna climate. Oh, okay, okay. So we claim Africa mm -hmm. is a cradle land of man, yeah. because savanna climate was providing the conducive environment, mm -hmm. despite man had not discovered fire, especially at the level of Homo of, of, of Australopithecus or okay. Boise. Okay, are you see. So I can confidently say that Kenya is the home of. Mankind. Mankind. Yeah. So people should come back home to see Definitely. their origin, to connect yeah. to their ancestral home. Exactly. Okay, okay. Mm. And then now here, mm. just as we are talking about the plastic record player and the accordion, we say mm -hmm. the plastic record player is bigger mm -hmm. and has a smaller storage mm -hmm. capacity compared with the, with compared the with memory, the memory card. card. Yeah. Now, if you come here, you can see from early Stone Age tools, mm -hmm. which are called Oldowan tools. Mm -hmm. You look at them as they are a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. As you continue to move up to this level, of Middle Stone Age, mm -hmm. which we refer to as Achulian tools, mm -hmm. where at St. Achulians, man discovered fire. You mm -hmm. see that these tools, they continue to become smaller mm -hmm. and they are very smaller yeah. and yeah. sharper. Yeah. So are you seeing that from that yeah, level, we can be able to appreciate big, uh, uh, and then biggest, uh, big, bigger, <laughs> big and smallest. And the smallest. Yeah. So we can, we can see that our plastic record player could be here. Yeah. And then you can have a memory card here. Yeah, so what's yeah. happening? Evolution. The tools are becoming smaller, smaller and, and effective. sharper and yes. effective. Yes. And the brain capacity of mankind is yeah. increasing. Yeah, like here, it, uh, he has a big head. <laughs> but yeah. no, the uh, big brain, but no thinking capacity. Thinking capacity. Oh, so you look oh. at the thinking capacity. Oh, okay. Is increasing oh. at this particular So here, small brain, but big thinking big capacity. Man is becoming more and more. The IQ also is increasing. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, what about <laughs> the footprint? Okay, the footprint. Oh, this, one. this was discovered at Latioli in Tanzania. Okay. But you can be able to learn about the footprint. Mm -hmm. Now we can say this. Maybe for to summary, you can say mm -hmm. uh, under evolution of man, mm -hmm. we have the three main features mm -hmm. of evolution. Mm -hmm. We have hominids. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have artifacts, mm -hmm. and, and we have the footprint. Okay. Yeah, so we can also be able to use the footprint mm -hmm. to understand. For so example, here. Footprint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is about Australopithecus afarensis yeah. because we remember we had. 
various species of Australopithecus robustus, Africanus, and Afarensis. Okay. So here Afarensis has been replaced by the footprint, okay. which is among the three main features of evolution. Okay. And the okay. one who has coveted that footprint is Dr. Mary Lee. Dr. Yeah. Mary Lee. Yeah. Yeah. The one who... Yeah. They yeah. Yeah. The yeah. 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 But I know she, she has all information, only maybe she wanted me to accompany her. Yeah, it's okay. You yeah. have more information. Now, here, yeah. Yeah. We, we, we are talking about Australopithecus boise. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we refer to Australopithecus uh, afarensis. Ah, not afarensis. Yeah, it's called anamensis. Okay. Yeah. Anamensis. Mm -hmm. So you can see that this one was a bit bipedal. They could stand a bit upright. Oh, okay. But these ones could not communicate the way I communicated. They used click, click sound. sound like the Hoi Hoi people oh, in oh, South Africa. Oh, okay. They used click sound. Mm -hmm. They started forming a family so. 30, mm -hmm. 3 to 5, they stay in a group of 3 to 5, mm -hmm. a family of 30, they mm -hmm. were trying to form a, a group of 30, mm -hmm. and then later on they developed hunting and gathering. But the first tool mm -hmm. that they used, they used, the first tool was used, it was called hatchet, it was called the hard axe. Okay. But you know hatchet was made by Homo habilis. Okay. So the, the, the kind of use of the advanced tool mm -hmm. that was made by by Homo habilis. Okay. So with them later on, mm -hmm. they, they also operated, okay, they operated under savanna climate. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing that these ones are kind of a savanna, savanna climate? Yeah. So during the day, these mm -hmm. people could operate in the caves, mm -hmm. but at night they could climb on trees okay. to to evade from dangerous animals. Okay. And also, because it was during the Stone Age mm -hmm. uh, duration mm -hmm. period, they could use the stones okay. for the purpose of hunting mm -hmm. and also gathering. Okay. Uh, but the climate was conducive, and we can also defend ourselves, say now, mm -hmm. savanna climate is conducive for mankind. And yeah. then you can say, mm -hmm. East Africa mm -hmm. is a kind of land of man. Okay. And so in addition, they used to live in caves mm -hmm. during daytime, mm -hmm. and at night they could climb climb on trees. Yeah, oh, okay, for okay. protection, so oh, that they can see it. Even the children, animals. or just the men? The men. The men. The men. Especially, we could say, okay, generally, the mm -hmm. men. Mm -hmm. The men could still provide security. This is providing security most likely. Yeah. I think it was kind of the natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nature. It was just by natural nature. Instinct. And also, when they could, okay, if they go near the river, mm -hmm. maybe they are chasing after something like an antelope. Mm -hmm. uh, an antelope could stick, could stick in the mud. Yeah. The early man could use the stone, mm -hmm. because it was during the early stone age period, mm -hmm. to hit the, the leg of an antelope mm -hmm. or a gazelle. Mm -hmm. They could kill it, get the chunk of meat, mm -hmm. and extract, get something like bone. Okay. So how inside the bone they could get bone marrow. So these people could feed on mar bone marrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. they could easily feed on bone marrow. Okay. And they could also do gathering. Okay. So in other words, we have this idea of hunting and, and gathering. gathering. And they operated between four to one million years ago. What? Yes, a long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. So you can see man has come from quite far away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then here we have some cases but of the in conflict with the Bible. <laughs> the Bible has its own story. Exactly. What do you think about that? You know, when you are dealing, it's just like you say, give to the Caesar what belongs to the Caesar. Yeah. What you are talking about is about uh, evolutionary science. Yeah. So we are answering maybe these questions based it's on evolutionary science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have those ones under another concept that when we cannot be able to prove. No, yeah. scientific, these are things that we can be able to prove. Yeah. So other things that cannot be proven. Yeah. I think now that's where the areas we are not dealing with. Yeah, it's yeah. beyond our... Yeah, yeah. Because there's okay. nobody a big, big debate happening around definitely, that. Definitely. Yeah, science and religion. Yeah, yeah. But no, this is practical. Yeah. If we say this is Ugali, you find this is Ugali. Yeah, so yeah. So they have to go and practice and find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Other things that are beyond... Yeah. ...can not easily be debated upon. Yeah, point. sure, sure. Uh, okay. And then here, mm -hmm. we can also to see we have... ...the Bukusu, mm -hmm. the Kana, mm -hmm. the Nandi, and the law. Okay. So what's happening is that the Bukusu people, uh -huh. these are the Bandu. Okay. Bukusu, Kikuyu, these are just the Bandu people. Uh -huh. So what happens with the Bukusu people, the uh -huh. Bandu people, uh -huh. they came from the eastern part of Nigeria uh -huh. and also Cameroon. And then they had to travel all along up to uh, western part of Rift Valley, uh -huh. travel to, up to Uganda, uh -huh. and then they had to settle different places. Okay. And the Bukusu had to settle the western region. Okay. And then you can see that you have the Trukana, uh -huh. Turkana people, they operate within the plain. These are plain nylons, uh -huh. Nandi, uh -huh. highland nylons, and the Luo, these are from the river lake nylons. Okay. So you can be able to see the houses depicting the social and economic activities. Oh, that we okay. You can see the artist who drew the Bukusu woman yeah. has come up with a house that has got different paint or colors. Yeah. This tries to show that eh, they practice mixed farming. Yeah. So there's a knowledge bit of the artist. Yeah. These yeah. people are practicing mixed farming. Yeah. And yeah, it's just that kind of technique. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can so see that the Bantu. Yeah. The domain of agriculture came mm -hmm. from the Bantu people, but later on, these other communities also adopted. Okay. But the main food was 
Ugandan mm -hmm. made up of militants, soccer. Okay. But maize came from Mexico. Oh, yeah. You see the maize. Mm -hmm. We got maize from Mexico, mm -hmm. especially during the time when uh, when the, the Portuguese came. Okay. But the Portuguese were the first one to plant maize, right? Exactly. Okay. The first but, one to plant Maize was discovered by the Mexican, by, by a Mexican. Mexican. Okay. Yeah. 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 So that's why you see when you can you have scarce maize. Yeah. You can go to Mexico. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the same. Uh, and yeah. then here we have the modern pestle. Mm -hmm. Okay, when the evolution took place, mm -hmm. the earth was white. Mm -hmm. Why do we say that the modern pestle is also found in Europe? Mm -hmm. It's because, by the way, it's also found in Europe. Mm -hmm. Because when evolution took place, mm -hmm. the earth was white. Yeah. Well, during the time of the splitting, mm -hmm. uh, the continental drift, mm -hmm. Definitely, you could be able to find that uh, other 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 people because of the culture. Few other people had to go to different parts, mm -hmm. but they were practicing the same thing. So, in other words, evolution affected the whole globe, okay. the whole world. Mm -hmm. So, here we have the modern pestle that was used for purification of the grain, mm -hmm. and then you have this kind of grinding. Grinding stone. They could be able to use this mm -hmm. as a portion. Now yeah. they could be able to get flour, oh. grind, and you get the flour directly. And they oh. had no sacks. So they used to store their grains in that wooden oh, vessel. In the wooden vessel, yeah. because they had no sacks. Okay. And then why do you think sacks came in? Evolution. Evolution, yeah. <laughs> yeah so better storage. Yeah. Now yeah. here, yeah. we have also the cooking pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, museum has decided to put this spoon. Metallic, spoon. Metallic, yeah. metallic yeah. spoon. Okay. Just to prove about evolution. Uh, okay. But you can see also we have the basket for mm -hmm. serving of garlic. Mm -hmm. And you have this one, number five in it. Yeah, wooden vessel. Wooden vessel, they could be able to mix blood mm -hmm. mixed with milk okay. and it could serve as food. And then here, they could use this calabash for drinking water. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it was used for either drinking water or porridge. porridge. Okay. And then they had a stirrer, which mm -hmm. was used for cooking, for preparing of porridge. Okay. And, and then the uh, calendar use it for cooking ugali. And also, when it becomes yeah. Farm, then they add. Yeah, the calendars use the, the same stir for even cooking. Oh, oh. Yeah. And then we can also see here mm -hmm. this first of Western Kenya, they could use this board. Uh, this one is a board. Uh, board. Uh, they use this one for storage of milk. Mm -hmm. They store uh, ghee, mm -hmm. product of milk, mm -hmm. and they store water. It mm -hmm. means the faces of Western Kenya, they close mm. observe hygiene. They mm. use specific equipment okay. for specific purpose. Okay. Just as what we are observing hygiene okay. nowadays. Okay, okay. And then you have the ceremonials. Okay. You have the pot. This is a beer pot mm -hmm. for, for, for the Luya community mm -hmm. and maybe other communities that to adapt. Mm -hmm. When these people come to drink the beer, mm -hmm. they can be able to discuss a development agenda. Yeah. Not necessarily just drinking yeah. carelessly, but they have to use it for the purpose of sharing mm -hmm. uh, together mm -hmm. and also trying to discuss important agendas in their community. So I can actually say a long time ago, people were, do, were not just drinking anyhow they like yeah, yeah, yeah. now. Yeah. They used to organize they, themselves. They organize they themselves. Drink with a the purpose. The elder. Purpose. Okay. For the elder. They okay. could meet yeah. and discuss mm -hmm. agendas that could also build them. Yeah. yeah. Were men uh, and women allowed to drink? No. Uh, okay, men and women are not allowed. But what they could do, mm -hmm. maybe if you have a wife, mm -hmm. you go with the wife. Purpose, the wife is not drinking, but mm -hmm. she could sit near you. Okay. Yeah. To watch on you. To watch on you. Okay. Yeah. When you they'll black be organized. Oh. <laughs> and even if you find that one will take another one home. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, but nowadays, you see, mm -hmm. somebody goes to drink alone. Mm -hmm. A woman is getting a wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. Let me go and look for me. Mm -hmm. But a woman could be there, but sitting carefully yeah. with the man. And then after drinking, mm -hmm. they go home. Very organized. Speaking about evolution, we can <laughs> see um, men were allowed to drink. Yeah. In the past, but women were not allowed to drink. What to happened? some extent. Nowadays, women, yeah, nowadays women, women are even drinking more than men. So is, there, is that <laughs> evolution? <laughs> men, women are drink, drinking more, more than men. Hmm. You tell us. Okay, we, we normally talk about cultural dilution. Mm -hmm. You know, men are custodians of culture and gender. As we go by, mm -hmm. you can see also we have cultural dilution. That's why the community has again to go back and do capacity of their culture. Mm -hmm. Because some people tend to forget. Because the men mm -hmm. are students of culture. Mm -hmm. So the women were to respect the men. Mm -hmm. So most likely drinking means there is there is a, there is something about cultural uh, violation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So Otherwise, m women drinking is a cultural violation. Yeah, you drinking, especially mm -hmm. if women drink and men doesn't drink. Mm -hmm. But what, the purpose for drinking was to be very specific. When mm -hmm. you are drinking, mm -hmm. Why do you think you go for drinking? Mm -hmm. But majorly, what I think is about um, uh, why women drink more, more than, than men. men. Yeah? yeah, I think that was just going against the culture. Is that why? Mm -hmm. But I believe 
both of them were to do in an organized way. Mm-hmm. If it is that they were to drink, mm-hmm. then it was that in an organized way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but majorly, not exactly, we don't advocate for women drinking more than men. Okay. It means the home will be disorganized. Okay, okay. So, under culture, they had a specific way of, a criterion which how they should go to drink. Okay, okay. And not just drinking every time mm-hmm. they to drink, get organized and share the agendas that could be able to help or propel uh, the community for or, or tackle some domestic affairs okay okay and then here mm-hmm. we have your circumcision knife mm-hmm. for circumcision mm-hmm. among the new community the knife was just one for one instant okay and it was also helping because nowadays we have spread of diseases yeah uh, so they could not share the knives okay it was one per knife person per, per, per person oh so they knew from then okay Yes. Okay, okay. And then you have this kind of a uh, fly whisk. Fly whisk mm-hmm. is a symbol for mm-hmm. leadership. Yeah. And then these were just for entertainment, mm-hmm. the jingle for entertainment. Mm-hmm. And then you have this cowrie shell. Cowrie shell. Mm-hmm. shell was very important mm-hmm. among the Kalenjin communities mm-hmm. called Lekitio. Like so this kind of belt mm-hmm. was to protect the mother and the newborn. Okay. It means from, bad uh, from the bad omen. Especially mm-hmm. there are people in they look at you like this. Okay. You can easily become sick. Oh yeah. So yeah. they you could protect themselves by the cow shell belt. Okay. At the same time, mm-hmm. when uh, the phase of Western Kenya mm-hmm. community, mm-hmm. when boys go to war, mm-hmm. or when a boy goes to war, the mother will put on this belt. The purpose oh. of putting mm-hmm. on this belt mm-hmm. was to seal or protect his son from being killed. Oh, so this belt was also very important. So it's a way of, uh, because you come from the mother, exactly. when the mother does that and you're in war, <laughs> exactly. she protects you and you'll come back alive. Exactly. Okay. At the same time, this belt was also very important because when the mother gives birth, uh-huh. she'll put on this belt uh-huh. to bring the belly to the normal position. Oh, yeah, okay. The belt will now uh-huh. come to the normal position. Okay. This, this was a duty. Uh-huh. The pass was for keeping. Money. Uh, let me say beads or beads. something that was valuable okay. for women. Mm-hmm. Even up to now, the moment nowadays, women like working with this mm-hmm. kind of purse. Okay. And then we had this kind of cape. Mm-hmm. This cape was worn by the warriors, oh. especially when the communities go for circumcision, like mm-hmm. uh, like let me say the Kalenjin community. Mm-hmm. Those ones who come from the bush after circumcision, they are called Darsik. So when they come home, mm-hmm. they'll meet the warriors who are already in the gone day. The, 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 the circumcision. Okay. They were now experienced in the community. Mm-hmm. They'll give advice to these young people on how they should conduct themselves with their community, mm-hmm. on the behavior change, and how they could be able to tackle things as adults. Mm-hmm. So they'll put on that kind of cape. Mm-hmm. That cape was put on by those warriors. Mm-hmm. And it was also put on as a dancing costume. Atta. Okay. Atta, yeah. A dancing attire. Yeah. Correct. And what is, what is that, that, that cap made of? Yeah. Well, see, yeah. Very yeah. unique patterns. Maybe size so. Mm-hmm. Okay, or the gloss of cap. Majorly, they could just make this for or banana material or oh. size. Of. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then this one mm-hmm. is a colobus monkey skin. Yeah. In the museum, we mm-hmm. have the colobus monkeys. They are live. Yeah, we have, we have seen them. We have seen them. The black and white. So, so black and white colobus monkey skin oh. was worn by the people who are being endorsed as the leader in that particular community. Mm-hmm. At the same time, it was put on as a dancing mm-hmm. costume. Mm-hmm. And we had also among the Turkana, we had Turkana uh, we had a headgear mm-hmm. which was made of the black and white. Colobus monkey. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. And we saw it in the nature walk. In the nature walk? Yeah. How about here? Here there is nothing. Okay. What happened? We used to have the other things that they were destroyed. Okay. It's just a glass. Okay. It doesn't have something here. Okay. But then maybe in the future we should be able to put it Destroy back. something here. Yeah. Okay. And then here we have the musical instruments. Mm-hmm. Majorly here we are only talking about entertainment. Okay, okay. Among the in CBC mm-hmm. program, mm-hmm. we have what you call students study percussion instruments mm-hmm. like the drum, mm-hmm. tambourine, mm-hmm. and we have also what you call the string instruments, mm-hmm. and we also have what you call the the wind instrument. Oh. So this is very important key yeah. area yeah. when you are dealing with the CBC program. Yeah, so CBC is the competence based curriculum. It's a new curriculum in Kenya. Yeah, yeah and so it's also it impresses creativity yeah. and creation and the talent creation. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. And then here we have what you call the heritage, uh-huh. Bukusu, Bukusu heritage, uh-huh. and you have also the lawyer. Generally, these are the lawyer, okay. the Maragoli, and uh-huh. the Bukusu. Uh-huh. So these are the circumcision. Uh-huh. You realize that from number one to eight, uh-huh. you realize the Bukusu operates up to this. Okay, Bukusu uh-huh. values uh, even numbers. Okay. So you can see 1848 up uh-huh. to this. You can easily divide by two. Yeah. And also, the, the interval was 10 years interval. But uh-huh. what happened in Bachuma 1872 to 1886? 
It took a long time, mm-hmm. especially when they had a calamity, mm-hmm. they could not practice any circumcision. Circum- oh, okay. For example, when mm-hmm. Kenya had COVID-19, mm-hmm. they could not do circumcision because until everything stabilizes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then also this circumcision was very important because when the two fellows were circumcised together among the Bukus committee, they could see Bakoki. Mm-hmm. They were circumcised at the same time, okay. on the same ground. Mm-hmm. So when one dies, mm-hmm. another one will not just go and inherit the wife. Okay. Another one will not just go and carry the coffin of another one mm-hmm. because he believes he will also die. He will oh. stand, stand a bit far. Mm-hmm. So, so it if, you also, are, if, you're, if your brother dies, you are not allowed to carry the coffin? If you are circumcised at the same time. Or it means the issue here is about circumcision. If you are circumcised at the same, the same time, time, your brother, you are not allowed When, to when carry the wife the has died, okay. you don't just go there. Mm-hmm. You have to follow the culture. Okay. Okay. They have to tell you what you are supposed to do. Okay. You don't just carry the coffin. It's like you are carrying yourself to the grave. Okay, okay, okay. So you need to follow some of the culture mm-hmm. that protects that. Okay. But also this was very important for the purpose of leadership. Okay. Yeah, you are supposed to lead because you belong to this. You are first of all, mm-hmm. your, yeah, your culture, mm-hmm. your age set okay. will determine. Okay. This was the Maragol. Mm-hmm. ADC. ADC means the time when it was the ADC 1 and ADC 2. Mm-hmm. The time when the ADC was there, they had a specific mm-hmm. circumcision. Right oh. now you can be able to see. A DC uh-huh. 2001. Okay. This was a lot based majorly on on uh, even numbers. Uh-huh. You could see the close operate even uh, odd even numbers. Or rather odd. Odd. And the college communities doesn't uh-huh. also bother about even like the, the Bukusu and the Lua communities, they major on even numbers. Okay. They say two is better than three. One. Oh, three. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> or two is better than one. Oh, okay. Two is better than three. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Now here you can be able to see this xylophone. Uh-huh. Cell phone is a kind of a uh, music instrument. musical instrument. Uh-huh. Yeah, cell oh. There's another one that you can they use two sticks. Okay. You can be able to see. Just for the purpose of entertainment. Okay. okay. And this one was Stone Home Collection. We can you see? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Stoneham's Stone Home Collection. Okay. Because you know the gallery is capturing. 70% stone arm collection. Okay, okay. 30% mm-hmm. material culture of the people of Western Kenya. Okay. Which we also refer to, when you talk about uh, material culture, we are referring to ethnography. Okay. So ethnography, eth- ethnographic material mm-hmm. is another term for the cultural heritage. Okay. But ethnographic is an old term okay. referring to, uh, to cultural heritage. Okay. Can I change the battery then we proceed? Just hold on for <laughs> one minute. Don't go. <laughs> so let me change the battery. But before I change, just say your name and uh, where people can find you. Okay, my name is uh, Adrianos uh-huh. Juan. Uh-huh. I work in this gallery, uh-huh. Kitale Museum uh-huh. Gallery. Uh-huh. So they can easily find me in Kitale because I work in Museum, museum oh. in the Kitale Gallery. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And yes. Uh, if somebody is interested in just you and you alone, they. Just call me through the, this mobile number 07. Plus 2547. 7. 7. 0727. One more time, plus 2547. 588-988-989. Okay, see you in the next end of this break or in the next episode. So let me change the battery. It's okay. Uh, Don't go, let me change.